All right, everyone, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Um, so today, some people were asking um, how I save all my money, what are some saving tips? So I've made this video before, probably a year or two ago, but um, there's a lot of new people on the channel and I'll just remake this video so I could maybe get some traction, help out some new people. So I made a list of 10 things here that I've written down. So hopefully these will help you out and give you some insight of how I save some money. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. So the first, this isn't really in any particular order or anything like that, um, so excuse that, but um, probably the actual first thing, the easiest way to save money is leaving at, living at home with little to no rent. Um, I lived at home my whole life until I just got my house like a week ago. Um, so as soon as I got my job, um, my mom started charging me rent a little bit. Um, so it wasn't that much. The highest it ever went was like 500 bucks a month. But um, if your parents don't charge you rent or anything like that and you have a job, that's the easiest way to save money. Um, so live, uh, live at home as long as you can, um, as long as you have a good relationship with your family and stuff like that. Um, number two, um, a good paying job. Uh, the more money you make is equals saving faster. The more money you can save, the more money that you make. Um, if you want to work overtime or anything like that, um, if you're super hungry for money, you can work overtime if that's something available to you or always get a second job, etc. Um, so yeah. Uh, number three, use credit cards as much as possible. Um, one of my favorite things is using credit cards. I don't really spend that much money, but when I do, I always try to use credit cards unless it's like I need something cash for like a concert or something getting in the door, but it's always a good idea to have a little bit of cash on you just in case for emergencies, but I use credit cards as much as possible. I use the city, the city double cash card, which gives you two cents back on every dollar. So if you're spending thousands of dollars, it adds up pretty quickly. I usually average about two to $400 back every year between my two credit cards, between my city Costco card and my um, city double cash. Um, another way is to, um, if you have some money saved up already, you can, um, and you don't need to spend that anytime in the near future, you can get a CD, which is a certificate of deposit. So basically go to any bank. The I think the rates are pretty trash right now, but uh, recently, like a year ago, I put in, um, I think it was like $78,000 into a CD for 13 months and um, 13 months later when it was finished, um, I got $1,100 for letting my money sit there for 13 months. So basically what that means is when you put your money into the certificate of deposit, they give you an interest rate of how much money they will give you um, per month as they hold your money. So it's just a way to grow your money, 100% safe, no risk at all. Um, so that's what I did. So I got $1,100 or something like that out of the 13 month CD that I did. Um, and then also the high yield savings account, which is I'm a, I'm a big fan of. So instead of doing like a checking or a savings account, um, you usually get like 0. 0.000 something percent. So which it averages like eight cents to 50 cents or maybe a dollar per month um, on your savings account, however much ever money you have in there. Um, if you do a high yield savings account, it was pretty high at like 1.6%, but now it's down to like 0.6%. So when I had my $140,000 in the high yield savings, I was getting about 70 to $100 a month just letting it sit there until I got my house to pay that off, or I mean, put a down payment down. So I was getting about $70, $100 a month. Um, also, um, I'm doing YouTube, so um, that's around $300 a month. Um, the last month was like 290, which was my highest, and I might be hitting 300 this month, but I'm assuming it's gonna keep growing, so somewhere around two to $300 a month. Um, also, picking money up off of the ground, I know that sounds kind of lame, but um, it all adds up and money is money, so. Um, <laughs> I edited it up one time and I got about like $2 over, over the year. So I know that's kind of lame, but money is money. Also, um, coupons. Um, I'm not a big coupon person, but I'm pretty sure I will be here soon. Um, using coupons is pretty much just saving money. It's free cash. So if you go to the store and you want to buy 
bread or whatever it is, butter, chips, crackers. Um, if you use um, coupons, then you're pretty much just saving free money. So if something is $2 and you have a dollar off, you just, you just earned a free dollar. So i um, pretty sure I'm gonna be getting into that. Maybe I'll make a video about that down the road if I get all gung-ho on it. Also buying stuff used like video games, for example, you don't need to go out and buy a brand new video game for $60. You can get it used for like $40 or $30, whatever, just wait a little bit. Um, you can also buy them from like Best Buy with the Gamers Club Unlocked or whatever. So you can always, what I always did on video, brand new video games was got like 20% off. So that equals about $42 instead of $60. So you're saving $18 per video game if you're a big video game person. But you can always buy used and stuff like that off of um, Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or OfferUp and stuff like that. Um, and then lastly, I mainly just don't buy anything. It's simple as that. Um, if you want to save money, just don't buy anything. So I know that sounds kind of dumb, but that's just the way that I live. I don't buy that many things. Um, I'm just not a big spender. Maybe that was just because I lived with my parents and I felt maybe forced to not buy anything. But we'll see how that goes now that I have my own place and I can do whatever I want. But I'm assuming I'm just not a big spender and I've always been more of a saver. Um, so hopefully that helps you out. I know some of these are kind of dumb, but um, that's just the way that I save money. And uh, hopefully this helped you out. And if it did, or hopefully give you some insight of how I save my money. And if it helped you out and you enjoyed it, drop a like on the video, subscribe. I'd appreciate that. It helped the channel out a lot. Don't forget to check the description for anything else like social medias and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Um, might be hanging some blinds here in a little bit. I'm not sure. I have nothing to do and I'm really bored, so I might just do that. Um, so anyways, that'll do it. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Hopefully have a good Friday and a good weekend. God bless. Peace out.